Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to modify the look and feel of your flow graph node without touching the core plugin. The end result depends on your style, but here is an example from my game Agora where it looks like puffy bags, which is ugly, but you get the idea. This is the end result that we are going for. To get started, first let's create a C++ project because we need to add our own plugin and we need to compile it. So we'll add a C++ project and we'll just call it flow look and feel. And we'll create it. A project is created and started. So first let's go to edit plugins and we'll just create a blank plugin. Let's call it flow look feel. And we don't need a content directory. So we'll just disable it and I'll create the plugin. Our plugin is created and we'll just close the editor for now because we need to add the flow graph plugin to our project and we'll add it through Git. So let's do that. So here we are in the project directory. We'll go into plugins folder. We'll open the uh, flow graph GitHub repo, click on code and we'll select the HTTPS code here. And we'll right click and open the Git command and we'll type git clone and we'll paste it and enter it will clone the repository and we're good to go so the first thing is we need to modify the flow look and feel plugin so we'll open the flow look and feel u plugin file and we will change this to flow look feel editor first and change the type to editor and loading phase we want this plugin to load the very last time so we'll set this to post engine in it and after that we'll add a new entry called plugins because we want the uh, flow graph to be enabled so we'll just add that entry here and we're good to go Let's go back. We'll right click generate Visual Studio project files. Oh, we are getting an error here. Could not find definition for module. That's right. We just uh, renamed it, but we forgot to rename it here. So let's go to editor and we'll change this also to editor. And we'll open this and type this to editor module. Editor module. We'll open it and we'll type editor and we'll type editor. Let's go back, right click, generate. I have these uh, icons here, so I'll just copy those icons and I'll just copy the whole folder, icons folder we need it so we'll open it flow look and feel resources we'll just paste it here now we can open our flow look and feel project file we have opened our uh, solution file we'll expand our project and go to flow look feel open the uh, editor module here we'll change this to flow look feel editor module copy it and open the uh, source file and we'll change this to flow look feel editor module and we'll just rename this to editor module and we'll keep it like this flow look feel editor now let's uh, compile it we have successfully compiled it now let's modify the the look and feel of our graph so to do that we will have to modify the startup module and before that we'll open the flow look feel editor dot build just delete all of this and we'll have flow graph here um, we will have flow editor so that's what we need and we'll need 
projects dependency as well. Let me remove this, save it, and save it again. If we open flow editor style dot cpp, we can see how it's initialized right here. So we'll use a little bit of a different approach. So what we're going to do is if we if we look at the header file, we can see there is a style set that he already defined it, which you can get using the get function. So we'll use this function right here. So the first thing is that uh, we need to make sure the application is initialized. So if we type if if slate application base is initialized. We'll make sure it is initialized and we need to make sure the renderer is valid so we'll check it right here if we go to f slate renderer and we need to set our style set here so since we already have a style set available in flow we will directly take that so we'll type constant auto style set and we'll static cast it. Static as shared pointer. F slate style set. And we'll use the F flow editor style get. And we'll include that. We'll include style set as well. We'll just compile it. And we have a bunch of unresolved errors. And this is because I accidentally deleted the uh, core dependency. So I'll just add that here. We compile. It successfully compiled. So uh, we need to set the content root for the style set here. So we'll go to style set. And we'll type set content root to our uh, resources folder in this plugin. So what we're going to do is we'll get i plugin manager, and we'll get it. Find plugin, and the plugin name will be the same as our flow loop field plugin. So we'll just type that flow loop field, and we'll get the uh, base directory. But before that, we'll just include the i plugin manager module. And uh, we'll need to get the uh, base directory. And we need the resources folder. Because if you look here, that's what our folder is called resources folder inside there we have icons so we'll use uh, we'll set that as the uh, content root and now we can open style set again and we'll set the flow node title because we have a flow uh, we have a custom title picture here so if we look at flow editor style you can see that he's using flow node title here to assign the uh, title image. So we'll use that same name, just copy paste it. It's the same name. And which image we want? Well, we need to initialize this image right here, right? So what we're going to do is we'll just copy this box brush here and we'll just paste it and we'll type box brush. We need icons because since our content root is mapped to this resources folder we can directly access icons and this uh this title here so we'll just copy this and we'll type icon and we'll just paste that name remove the png because it's appended right here and then we need to define a size so we'll type f margin Type eight by sixty-four. Set zero 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 for all others. 
and we'll just add new here. We'll add any code for that. And now we'll need we'll copy paste the same thing, but instead of all this, we'll just type 16 divided by 64. And instead of flow node title, we'll use the flow node body right here. And instead of graph node title, we'll use the graph node body. Okay, so we have defined the um, the style set, but we still haven't loaded it yet. So what we're going to do is we'll just let's access the renderer and we'll say load style resources and we'll use the style set dot get. Okay, so let's compile and see. We have a compile error. It's saying cannot convert argument. Okay, so we'll just use this right here. Now let's compile again. We have successfully compiled. So we now we can just start the flow loop field editor. Our editor has started, and now if we Create a new flow asset and open it. Okay, there is a issuing red and white. Well, let's check the output log for any potential warnings or error. Okay, it's saying uh, resources icon. Resources icon. icons, icons. Okay, so uh, let's save it. We'll open it. Let's go back here. And let's put S icons. We'll start it again. And now let's open the editor. And there you go. You have your own custom style in your flow graph node. I hope this has been helpful to you. And uh, Thank you for watching. But before you go, just don't forget to add a undef here, undef box brush. Because yeah, why not? Thank you for watching. Hope you like the tutorial and enjoy.